So hello everyone again. Today, very curious, spontaneous topic. So you can see catfish and rainbow. And our first task is to invent, to brainstorm our idea. And how I like to do? So I usually like draw a little, so it's kind of my page. So the same page I'm gonna be painting here, but it's a small size. So it's easier for me to get the idea, yes? And let's think, so will cat and fish be friendly? Aha, uh -huh, Juliet has some question. Um, maybe for the scene, we could do something like a cat fishing out in the wild with a rainbow in the background. Uh -huh, very nice, yeah? So let's say then maybe somewhere here will be rainbow in the background. So the sketch is like really, it's just to find the position, the idea. So is the cat maybe sitting on the rainbow, you know, and fishing here somewhere, yeah? And here, maybe the fish is swimming. So something like, like this could be like one of the ideas, yeah? But then let's let's not stop. Let's do uh, something else. Um, it, anyone else has some some idea, other idea to what what we could, what combination we can do with cat? Yeah, Sanyana has one. You can make it look like the cat is trying to find the end of the rainbow. Ah, very interesting. So is he walking like on a path? Yes, or something like that. All right. So for example, maybe the rainbow is coming out from here and it's going somewhere there far away. And yeah, they're like, we don't see where. And here, let's say there is some like path. Yeah. So then we experiment also learn how to draw when it's like closer to us, it's bigger the path. Uh, where are the fish is going to be? Maybe so, like a little uh, river in the back. I don't know. Uh-huh. Okay. So let's say our cat is here with a tail or something. Maybe he has some some bag with him. Yeah, I'm just like very, very sketchy drawing him. And okay. And maybe next to the park, maybe like a cat. Uh, uh, fish. Yeah, yeah. So maybe there is some, I don't know, lake or someone. We can do also like fantastic. So it doesn't have to be like really realistic. A little bit maybe similar to this idea, like cat sitting on rainbow. So it's something unreal. Maybe fish is flying. Maybe cat is like laying on the grass and dreaming. And there is fish in the sky, let's say. And the rainbow also is somewhere there. Yeah, so let's say we can like field maybe here is like the big cat he, he put also leg on leg or something like this yeah meow. and maybe here we have star rainbow and maybe he is dreaming of fishes so these fishes are not actually real but it's just his dream because yeah that's what he wants to to eat maybe. Maybe he could be like running on a rainbow and he would like be chasing the fish because he wants to eat it. Mm, this is also a good idea. So let's say, I think I like the idea that somehow they are moving on the rainbow. So we can make actually like the rainbow a cent central part. And let's say maybe the cat, I don't know, he might have some boots maybe or something. And that's the cat. And yeah, and the fish. So I don't know if he's trying to catch the fish or. Um, he's like, like, he might be like trying to reach up with his paw. Uh, okay, yeah. So he's, there is his paw. Yeah, trying to catch the fish. Of course, like we can still improve the. Um, the idea so 
Naya, do you have ideas like, or which one you, which direction you would prefer? I quite like the one where the cat is like sitting on the rainbow fishing. Nice. Actually, that's also yeah, my. I like that one. So, are we going with the first idea? All right. Yeah. Thumbs up. I think, yeah, majority is for this. Very nice. I also like it. Cool. Then let's, yeah, go back to our. Uh, whoop, camera zooming. Yeah, today I'm doing without tape. Yeah, so about tape, really don't worry, Sonia, if you don't have it. It's it's not a must. Yes, yeah, so also for Liam, like I stick it because it's just comfortable for me. The the paper sticks, and then I get this white frame. But it's it's just an extra. Uh, you're totally can work. As usually with uh, without it and uh, so um okay let's so I will try to do some sketch so I'll think okay how much water I'm gonna have so here I will have let's say it uh, doesn't matter river or ocean so somewhere here maybe I'm gonna have just the like the upper level of the of my sea. And then somewhere here later, I'll put the fishes. And then let's say the position of the cat. So if the rainbow will be maybe like here, so maybe like he's sitting here and fishing here, down here, or um, yeah, so it's now our task as artists, we think about composition. Yeah, composition is like, so this is for example, my, I draw it like not so hard, so it's I can change it if I want. So let's say this will be my lots of colors of rainbow here. And let's say just very sketchy cat is somewhere here. And let's say fishing here. But fishes are. Uh, I have an idea. Like the cat could be sitting on a cloud and fishing. Okay, yes, the cloud is also good. So, yeah, because maybe the rainbow is not so comfortable. Huh? Uh, but at this point, yeah, everyone can also choose. If someone, like if Niam likes the idea about sitting on the rainbow and sit the cat there, maybe. So let's here, I can put the cloud and yeah probably it's more comfortable sitting on the cloud yeah but then i think huh maybe too little space i have for the cat or is enough yeah shall i mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. maybe i'll put my cloud a little bit lower yeah. i'm doing a cloud and a rainbow Ah, interesting. Yeah, so here we have a diff we will have different compositional styles. That's very good. Yeah, so maybe somewhere. Maybe. If I want, I can later add more clouds. And sitting cat. Okay. So will he be like more cartoonish or will he be more like real? Mm. So if more real, he will look maybe something like this. So like more as, as the cats, they sit like, uh -huh. but then let's say where he's gonna have the fishing hole. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Thinking, thinking. Uh -huh. So is our... it also on the ring, mother chasing it or? Ah, uh -huh. so Sayana wants to stick with the idea of cats chasing. Why not? Yeah, so let's say, where is my paper? Yeah, so let's say then you can, you can draw the rainbow. And then let's say you can draw 
the cat. So then you can decide also, he'll be like standing on his four, like. Um, yeah, and I, is he now on, is the cat now on the cloud and then is fishing from the other side? Yeah, so for, at the moment, somehow I decided that the uh, fish pole will go here. So I'm still like trying to see how I make the paws of the cat and so maybe like somewhere like here and fishes yes I, but you're, I, I, you're artist yes you don't it's not a must so we, we agreed on common idea but um this is what actually i would like you to uh, learn that the the job of artist is actually to learn to make a decision and this is what will make your art unique, interesting, and, and different. So today we're gonna finish, we're all gonna have different artworks. One will have sitting on the rainbow and other will be cat sitting on cloud. And in Sanyana case, the cat is like very lazily or the opposite um, fast running on the... I was just asking because I didn't know now what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, so we're still kind of in in uh, precising the idea, and so I'll draw his like as as if he's sitting on his. And still like a bit holding the the pole. Yeah, so over there and let's see the cat. And our fishy as well. Mm -hmm. Evie, I asked for um, um, oil pastels. Mm -hmm. It's easy to clean, and because it was also a long time since we've we've done done paintings with oil pastels. But that's very good that you've um, suggested. I agree. We. We do a lot of uh, acrylics, and of course, it's good to change from time to time for uh, a different, different medium. Yeah, and it is so. Sometimes yeah, we, we um, the reason that it's easier to clean also is a valuable reason. Yeah, so and... I'm not done yet. No, no, I'm also not done yet. Yeah, so I'm thinking maybe my fishy will be one of those gold fishes, you know, that they have this very fancy tail. Can I hang something on the fishing thingy? I forgot how it's called. <laughs> I also forgot how it's called. Um, so, yeah, usually they put their like a worm. So we can also include one more animal there, also. I mean, like on the fishing thingy. Yeah, you mean like here at the bottom? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's attracted. Mm -hmm. So what, what would you put there? Something what the fish likes, and I don't know what. Yeah, so usually I know that the fishes, they like these uh, worms. Yeah, it's like classical. What, what? Um, because if we put like fish food, it won't really look like fish food. No, the fish food is, yeah, those very tiny pieces. It's, you can't even, I think, really put it. But uh, well, I would like put also the worms. Yeah, but then I feel sorry for the worm. He's like, uh, <laughs> I'll put just a little piece of something. I don't know. I just like, I'll put a cube and I will color it and then whatever. Let, let then. Each person who will look at the painting can decide uh, itself what, yeah. what is it. But uh, we will be politically correct and not uh, <laughs> not harm. Okay. 
and the fish is also maybe clever she's like ah, i see where it's going this thing but the fish is following the thingy yeah but the fish maybe she she came close to check what's what's what is it yeah so is it a she or he i think we decided it's a she you mean the fish yes hmm yeah, good question. I don't know. Shall we put more fishes under the water? Yes, but more smaller fishes. It should be like the main fish there. Yeah, you see, this is already um, you talking how to make good composition. Yeah, so we have main heroes and then we have some some other heroes there that answering yeah, I also really like sometimes drawing when there is a bunch of small fishes all together. Not sure yeah, if it's, yes, if it's all cool. here, but if some of you has space, we can we can do it. I have space. Then cool. Then it's um because I think I put somewhere um things. Evie, yep. you could do above the water, I mean, like above the water, you could do like more water waves a little bit, mm -hmm. because that will look like it's going more, it's also bigger and it's also behind the rainbow. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, I have, I need um, two cats. And one of them is sitting on the cloud fishing, and the other one is going over onto his back and is holding the rod. It's like, ah. <laughs> then I do his back showing. Whoa, that sounds cool. Okay, I couldn't find my drawing book. Any water, but. Okay. But it's okay. I think we can continue. Are we still doing that fish bunch thingy? Say again, Sanyana? Are we still doing that with the small fishes and all together? That's the story. Like, mm, on my painting, not really. But maybe let me, I'll try. I'll remove this fish. And then maybe I can, I'm just trying to understand where I can put this. In my case. Um, yeah, so maybe, so, but it's like just you draw, um, just this like triangle and this oval is a fish symbol, but they're pretty much like all together and they're changing a bit the, the, the size. So, can I draw some CV, seaweed? Yeah, of course. So, if, if you think like it's pretty much close, maybe to the bottom or something. You can, yeah. So here I had some of my fishes. But I'm not doing too much seaweed. No, of course, yeah. And just doing like a little bunch and then mm -hmm. yeah, still doing something. And then like some fishes are right there. Cool. So I think to have a bit more um like we can maybe start with the oil paints and oil pastel. And then in the progress we can also add other stuff. Yes. And what I like, like, for example, the question, okay, what should I start with? And I really like when you're confused, my suggestion is start with what you are sure. So let's say I'm sure of the colors of the rainbow and I'm starting with this. And then in process, it will be easier for me to kind of to decide on, on other colors. Yeah. So who remembers the following of the? Uh, me. All right. 
What's the color? Red, orange, yellow, green. I don't know. I think I'm done drawing. I have drawn no fish in the ocean. It's totally blank. Uh, red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, dark blue, and purple. Uh, perfect. Thank you, Sanyara. So I will start then here with the, uh, yeah, and then when we, uh, yeah, so we can also, so for example, if you have some clouds that are crossing over the rainbow, then it's already the time you kind of plan that you don't put the color there. Yeah, so here, let's say, and then later I can decide if my stripes will be a bit more thicker. Yeah, maybe it wants to be a bit, a bit more. Um, okay, so I didn't open my... I can't get my red out. Okay, now I got it. Oh, this is orange. Yeah. And then when using the oil pastels, then you will feel that you can get different results. Let's say, so if I just touch like very easily, this is what I get. And all I need to do is just press a bit harder and take a look. I'm getting completely different uh, view. And I can use both. So sometimes, let's say, if I use for the cloud and I want the cloud to be very light, I'm just kind of barely touching my... But if I want very intense and bright color, then I just press harder. So just by this... Mm -hmm. I don't have red in my oil pastels. Really? Oh, how curious. And um, I can't even mix it. Maybe yeah. actually. Like, um, st start, start with orange and later we invent something. How to. I could use my, uh, what's it called? Color pencil, but I don't know. Yeah, but let's say start with what you have and later exactly we might add or color pencil or um I feel like without the red it also look, will look kind of good. Oh, so yeah. mm -hmm. This is my sketch pencil. Oh yes yes wow very interesting yes awesome nice one Juliet. yeah Ellie is your sketch also ready almost Almost, I'm just drawing my last fish. Okay. Yeah, but then also be careful. Oil pastels, they are mixing. So let's say if you're putting blue next to the yellow, what color you will get? Yes. You're gonna get green color. The same as if you are using paint, yeah? Uh, this is my sketch. Yay, very nice. Oh, looking forward to it to be colorful. Yay. Good job, Ellie. Mm -hmm. Nice one. Yes, yes. I think I will make my cloud a little gray type. Mm, that's also a good one, yes. So maybe the, the cloud is more neutral. So here, let's say also I had I made it, for example, now I made it very bright, my cloud. But actually I can take just another oil pastel. I can take also whiter one because with oil pastels, you can go on top with other color. So here, it's not that important to start with light colors, yes, as we usually start, let's say in watercolors, it's important. Also in acrylics, then we usually start with yellow, with pinkishy, and then we go towards dark blue and so on. Evie, mm -hmm. 
Um, two things. Because you added the white, now the cloud looks more pasty. Like yeah. the, the thingy. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, the other thing is, but you can't cover black with white. Yes, you can. Well, that's what like I think. Because um I'm gonna try we, we can we can experiment. Let's say because maybe I also I'm wrong, but from what I have, so let's say here is my cat, it's very black. Yeah, so here I made and now I want to make like maybe his his white um uh, something white for, for his eye or maybe white on his tail. So this is my black cat. And let me take my white color. What I do sometimes, sometimes they get a bit dirty. Then I clean them a little bit, just like I move on the paper. So I see, aha, it's cleaner. Yeah, okay. So when I do it, you see, I got a little white stroke on my black cat. But then at once my pastel is dirty. So it means I need to clean it a bit. And then again, with a clean, with a clean, pastel then I can put on top my my like and of course it becomes more grayish because of course it, it mixes so still probably Sanyana right it's better to plan let's say if I'm gonna have some white area then I better kind of not color it with dark and but but in case you kind of just oops missed then it's good you can um it's still redoable you can and for example my rainbow now is very bright and actually so if i go on top of all my rainbow with white it should become also a bit more pale and maybe that's also what i will want to do so the rainbow is a bit more yeah not not so or maybe just the part of rainbow to be brighter at the start and going more pale towards the ending ending yeah i'm just thinking which one is better probably maybe upper lighter and in the middle here a bit more brighter but i'm still gonna do purple but um I feel like I made the colors a little too thin, but then I can just erase the rainbow and make the line from you. Hmm, okay. I need purple. Where is my purple? Uh, that's not purple. Uh, and in case, let's say you put your oil pastel very, very thick, and then you say, oh, actually, somewhere maybe I got too wrong, or it, it sometimes it gets a bit too dirty when there are some colors that, that don't mix well together. Let's say you've put blue and orange together and they do together some grayish brownish. Actually, with a with, um, palette knife, you can scratch a bit. So you can scratch a bit, like, of course, you will not get it completely. But you can get it a bit lighter. The, yeah, so you kind of just physically removing a little bit. The, yeah, and mm -hmm. um, on your picture, um, you draw uh, uh, in the sea or ocean, I don't know, these landings, but then it looks like it all is happening on the surface of the sea a little bit. Yes, but this was your idea of things, Niana, or you mentioned something, and I thought, ah, because you said, let's do more waves on top. And I thought, yes, then my rainbow can kind of come in between the waves. So then I will have more waves at the back. And then it feels like the... Because I went only behind the sea and not on it. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, yeah, so your rainbow is like just the sea is ending and there is the rainbow. Yeah, yeah but you can add just a bit more waves if you want the same effect. I am adding it directly yeah. under the thingy. Ah, okay. 
And look now, actually I like it now. I did a bit of scratching and now it all looks a bit more pale, a bit more like softer. Ah, that's almost as if it's a bit new technique. And here I'm getting like all the leftovers and I just clean with on the paper a bit. And I'm gonna take some white and now just... Yes, and also taking white also helps. Yeah, so let's say I can take white and... Also, one tip, sometimes let's say, I a set I have here, it's like 50 pieces. Ah, I see Neom is also experimenting with um, frames. I got my red hat today. <laughs> That's just from the filters, from the from the zoom options. You you also have, have those. Um, yeah, so coming back. So if you have like a bigger box, so sometimes you get a stick that is called like, um, medium like it's like extender so in english it's called extender in german it's like hilfsmittel so oh, what yeah. it is it's not really painting but it helps you to um to mix the things so instead of using let's say maybe your finger and getting messy you can use this thing and it it helps you to blend the things yeah Yeah, my brain like this. Ooh, sweet one. I like the shape also. Very like confident. But my mind one got a bit um the shape maybe not but now I'm gonna do the clouds with white and the gray and blue. Um, Not gonna do like everything with the color, but I'm trying to make it look like So I will, uh, on my side, I will move a little bit to the sea. And what I can do, I can also choose, let's say, maybe different blues. And since I got those different layers, so maybe I can put maybe a bit darker blue on my first one. Again, I can play with how hard I press my somewhere it's, it has the lighter line and somewhere it has the and then I can also can I show my painting so far? Of course, I'd love to see it. You know, I don't think you should call a painting with pastel a painting, maybe a pastelling. Ah, nice. We have a new word. Ooh, and I have to buy cats. That's a cool idea. Look, one on the cloud, others on the rainbow. Ah, oh, it feels magical. Cool, Ellie. <laughs> yeah, it's a good idea. Otherwise, my cat feels like a bit solo, like lonely. No. Nah. Good one, good one. Ah, this is the better. Now I am shall I uh Shall I put on the um, cat's ears headphones for the comedy? <laughs> Why not? Why not? So maybe I'll also put headphones as if he's like... It's a little oversized. I hope it's okay. Yeah. So then the cat's ears are more upper and not to the side. <laughs> Good idea, Sanyana. I like this. Yeah. I'm not going to put headphones on my cat because if he ends up catching a fish, he might end up being so distracted by the music he doesn't even notice. Very good point, actually. And yeah. then you just wasted your bait. Yeah. And I'm just doing this for comedy. <laughs> yeah, so here you see I've, I've did um, three different blues. So then my... Um, my C looks like yeah, a bit. <sighs> 
And remember here you also, you can mix. So I'm putting one blue, but I'm mixing the other blue in between. So it's, it has all this story of light and dark. I think we're all getting such a cool painting today. And this is what I like when when we do this brainstorming, that the idea, they kind of pump up and all together, then you can get something cool. No one says, one offers one thing, the other catches the mood and says, ah, but we can add also this. I have four and uh, five different colors for blues. Oh, nice. Oh, it means you have a big set. Uh, hmm? Yes. Yeah. Actually, this is also a story with the oil pastels that um, with a small set, it's actually hard to paint. And let's say this set I have, I think it has like 50 pieces. And first I... one. One yeah. thing's like, wow, like 50 is so much. But when you start working with it, you realize that, wow, actually it's like, you know, minimum. It's uh, like with less, would, would be. Um... Evie, hmm? you have to do some math. I have 20 less oil pastels than you. Ah, okay, okay. We've wow. got 12 oil pastels. Girls, you are amazing. If you if you can get those cool those cool paintings with just 12 pieces, you're a master. Because of course it's easier to work with a big set. And it's very it's challenging. It's also cool to create new colors for the smaller set. Yes, yes, yes. Ah. I'm just gonna show you. It's so okay, I guess I'm using this one really good. Evie, what's your favorite color again? My favorite one is blue. Um. What's what was your favorite? Purple. Purple, yes, that's what I wanted to say. I remember. Nia, what's your favorite color? Crimson. Crimson. Ah, that's yeah. very interesting. Yeah. Here I have a crimson color. I have crimson red. Whoa, yeah. yeah. Are they different? Is there, is there also a crimson pink? Mm, good question. Um, I don't think so. I think crimson is like generic for this type of red only, but who knows? Maybe it's gonna come next year. <laughs> I think it actually happens that new colors are being invented. I mean, I feel like it's easy to invent new colors, but then it's also hard. Uh, what's harder than what's easy about it? Because you just can't take some colors and mix them. Yeah, but then it can be a color that it, already it, exists. But if you do it again and again and again, they will always change into a different color most of the times. Like if I take all my blue shades right now with white, mix them together, it will be one color and the other time will be mostly the other color. And you don't know, maybe you created a new color. You never know.
Yeah. It will always be a secret. <laughs> Everybody creates a color because no two colors are the same. Yeah, that's also a good point. That actually, when when we are uh, like each brand, they produce colors a bit differently. So the name could be the same. So let's say crimson. I can have my crimson here, but maybe Nima she has her crimson. Yeah, from different box, and they might look different. So it's also right, Julia, the mixing, it's also different. Not so easy, huh? It's like both for me, it's easy and hard. Mm -hmm. Evie, what's your favorite animal? Animal, whoa. Um, I could never decide for a favorite animal. I always get new animals. I always remember new animals and animals and I always change it. But I really don't have a favorite one. Yeah, it's a hard one. I think all animals are, are, are like, you know, good and... I think I will actually also only do nothing except only the fishes because it's going to be a little easier. I don't know which color I didn't use yet. I used this one, but now I'm just going to use it. I used this one. Did I use this one? No. I'm not really looking at front and back. My thing looks right now more cartoonish because I'm going to show you. My picture looks right now more cartoonish. But it looks very sweet. <laughs> so that's why I'm not going to really look at the color that back is lighter and front is uh, darker. Mm -hmm. And basically it's taking any color and just coloring that spot. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to add my, one of my clouds is going to be a bit more pinkish. Maybe it can be a mix, pinkish and bluish also. I'm gonna make like, um, I don't know, like a gold, yellow, pink, and yellow and pink fish, but like red pink fish. Ah, yeah. Or I don't know yet. It's so hard to find a good color, but I feel like pink would really right yeah so it's like when, when you're not sure to choose it's like just don't rush and you know um go paint something you're sure about and the answer will always come it's like no doubt that once you have other stuff ready you will get the feeling but if you just sit and wait and it's like oh, i have to think about the color then it's harder I actually draw it over the line many times. Maybe it's good. So my fish will be orangey. Also because orange and blue, they're the good mixing, like not mixing, but the, as their complementary colors. Uh, the only thing I need to be careful not to physically mix a lot blue and orange yeah so when they separate they look good but once once you start mixing them then you get this um, a bit dirty design i think i'm gonna do a red and yellow can always help only red and something mm -hmm. Maybe like all the red shades, like purple, no, red and I have. I have three red shades. Mm, that's interesting. So I'm gonna use these two to make the fish. Yeah, 
So for example, here I was making my fishing and my orange mixed with blue and it got a little bit dirty. So I can actually just clean a little bit there. So I can just scrape it physically, scraping just off. And then I will try to go again a bit. And then maybe I can eat, even it can help putting a little bit of white to the base. The same one we do is in acrylics, let's say, if you want to correct your mistake, then you wait till it's dry, put white paint on top, wait till it's dry, and then um, and then you put the color that you want. Here, now my tail looks much more cleaner, the orange. Evie, I did something like the, this today before class. Ah, I remember this one, yay. <laughs> and like I wrote numbers on them, and then you gotta choose like a number from one to eight, like seven, and then I'm gonna do like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have to choose a number what's inside here, mm -hmm. then it's like six, and then I'm gonna open this six, open this part and look what says by the six. Can I do it with you and uh yeah with you? Yeah, After of course. Let's play if you wanna uh, play the game. Sure. So what do I need to do? I need to say the number. But after class, I feel like that's done easier. Okay, good. Let's let's wait till let's let's concentrate on. Yes. Creating art from that. And for me, it came the moment choosing the color for the cat. Oh, I think I'm going to do it like a brown cat. Hmm. But then I also want to make, I mean, like, what colors are there? Why? I want to make a black cat, black, gray, black cat, gray and black. Probably I'm going to make a gray cat. Gray, I don't really know, gray, brown, black, I don't know. Yeah, so we can make the cat can be with one color, and be, or it can be the very... I think I decided to choose brown. All right. I kind of decide very fast for some reason. I think some things are, are easier to. I think it's a good sign when you are painting and singing. Enjoy the process. It means I'm enjoying it. Yeah, exactly. And and not only enjoying, but also you kind of really in there, involved inside there. I don't think it's also not not a must but when it comes, you know, like automatically, yeah? like whistling. I think I mean like a color, folks. He also with some purple up there. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to show my picture. Yep. Sometimes I just take my fingers and the paint and then just start painting with my fingers. <laughs> it's just like a habit for some reason. Hmm. 
I like for for I mean, sorry for interrupting, Sina. Uh, for some little things, I have so it's uh, pastel pencils because of course it's very hard to get with those round sticks to do some like little point of an eye, and then um, then I have those and I can do like dot for the eye or for the nose, you know. Otherwise, it's. I do not have such pencil, so I'm gonna use my pencil. Yeah, you can always use like normal pencil or even like these liners, black ones. Liners. Yeah, like, of course. It, uh... <laughs> Now I just need the dark blue and shade it a little bit. Okay. I feel like, okay, now I'm going to add some purple touches. Is it purple? Is this purple? I don't know it's purple or not. Yes, it is. I'm really happy with my C. Mm. Yes, yeah, so it really takes long, lots of time. It's like can't really see the purple. I'm done. <gasps> and so it's really done. Wow. Okay, let's put attention how. Oh, it's so colorful. Yeah. How many kids you have there? Count one, two, three, four. Is there one more? Five. Whoa. Oh, so just with painting. <laughs> nice one. Julie the master. Yeah, she got even faster. I'm not. Okay, maybe I'm halfway a bit more, but. I'm done. I just have to wash my hands to show you. <laughs> All right, Ellie. We are waiting for you. No rush, because um, well, I'm here still, kind of. All right, let's take a look at everything. Hey, nice one. I like the intense dark color for the water and also many sweet cats. <laughs> wow, the first girls. Yay, here it is. looks super good. It does. Good job, girls. Hey. In the orange cat, yes. Uh, now what are we gonna do <gasps> oh my gosh oh my god what happened Ellie? don't make us scared my painting is within an hour <laughs> within an hour because it's 12 59 sorry yeah actually in one hour you made it that's impressive that's very quick Usually we paint like hour and a half, sometimes two. Um, I'm actually also almost done. Yeah, surprisingly. Everyone was surprised too. Now I gotta do my cat, my brown red cat. Red cats are also super cute. Mm, that's true. Well, girls, Juliet Ellie, if you're ready. Would you mind giving me advice for the color of the sky? Um, I suggest don't do a light blue. 
Oh, because if you do it too much, it gets too intense, and then, uh, so, and don't do dark blue, because, like, it'll just be so dark, and, and, like, part of it will be dark, and then the other part of it won't be, so, mm -hmm. um, maybe do, like, um, just do a light, like, do a light blue, and then do, use white over it. And, and can it be not blue, let's say? It could be not blue. It could be um, a way different color. Oh, beautiful colors. Let us see. I made a red cat officially. Yay! Congrats on taking decision for the color. I think I'll try. We can find the star. We can find the star. So I have found here the color that's called orange light. That to me it looks like the um, oh my god, uh, Naples yellow. That is kind of pinkishy, pale pinkishy, orangey. So I'll use this, and I also use a little bit of white, Ooh. and then maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm doing the same thing I was doing last time with the pastel. Mm -hmm. What was the last uh, painting we did with pastels? It was the one that didn't work when we tried to scratch. Ah, uh, the scratching one. Yes, yes, yes. I remember. It didn't work, yes. I was trying to find out. Sometimes oil pastels, new ones, they're not so oily. Um. Mama said that it was probably the soap because we have like more natural soap and she says like maybe it's a it's gonna work because of that. You are right because actually I've also another friend of mine she did the same and it didn't work and she said ah it's because my soap it doesn't have this detergent thing inside because the soap is more friendly. Yes, yes, yes. So, okay, so it wasn't oil pastels, it was the, the soap, yeah. But you remember the technique, so in case you get the, the classical soap, let's say, then um, you, uh, we can even repeat it all together in case you want. But uh, I think I will show you now, because I was ex still experimenting with this technique. Just give me one second. Ah, so I yeah, yeah, I'm on that one something. But, just to Niam, do you want to tell something? I nearly finished. <gasps> Girls, let's take a look at Niam's drawing. Yay, sweet one. Wow. 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 That was cool. You decided to go for, for the sun yellow. Cool. Everyone is quicker as I am today. Incredible. Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> okay, Sanyana, you make me feel better than we, we finished together. Um, let me show you. I was experimenting with the same scratching technique. Um, Juliet, Ali, are you there? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Take a look. So this one I did, the same technique, but I put black at the bottom, blue at the bottom, here red. And then I put white paint on top. And then I was doing this, this scratching. Yeah, so. And this is a bit like Japanese topic, you know, the seam, so it's a bit minimalistic. And another one I experimented. It was, this, this is the cat. And here I did four different layers. So I had black layer at the bottom. Then I had different blues around. And then I had those uh, reddish, orangey, yellows. So then I, when I scratch, then I kind of can feel if I want to get till the bottom, till the black one, 
or I want to stop at the blue layer or I'm getting or I'm leaving just the top. So it's a bit complicated, of course, also to to prepare and scratch, but just so you know about the possibilities, yeah? Evie? And, yep. I think I'm going to just do the sky with a little way I'm going to try it out. Like more gray and like a little more, yeah, okay, I don't know. I thought I know. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. So also, girls, if someone is ready and it's kind of you want to go, it's you feel free to um, log out whenever. Yeah. Of course, you can stay and wait to finish. But um, yeah. Free to... Mm -hmm. It's not a must to stick till the end. But if you want. Maybe we can like watch the rest of the record. Yeah, of course. So if, if you're just curious, like how, like how it ended, but my one is also, I'm just, I need to finish my sky, but it's basically just pale pinkish. And and then we wait for Sanyana's results as well. Yeah, but you can also later share in, in WhatsApp. Um, and, uh, I think I gotta go now. Sure, yes. Then uh, so next week we are not meeting next Wednesday, but then so it means in two weeks. Okay. Girls? okay. Fine. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Thanks to you. Bye bye. Bye bye. But those who are not finished yet, like me. I continue. I'm just doing like the background a little brown and like a little more colorful at the end because if I t do like too many colors at the background, it won't it really it will like turn into mostly the main part kind of. Mm. And I wouldn't either do the sky blue because that will also kind of blend in with our the sea. Yeah. Or ocean. Yeah, do you like working with um like what's your favorite medium? Um well I quite like all of them because they're really really fun, so I'm not that quite sure. That's good. Usually answer the same when everyone says tell asks me, okay, what's what you like to paint with more? And I was like, oh my god, one day I like acrylics and one day I like oil pastels. And what the color is okay? What my mood is. So, Sanya. Hmm. Uh, acrylics. I'm almost done. I'm done. Ah, okay. Okay, wait, I'm going to show you. I feel like it turned out pretty good. Okay. Wait, one second. I'm going to take out the lighting. I think I should. Yeah, just one, just one second, Neil. Let's take a look at Sanyana's. Yay. <laughs> Sweet. I like, I like it. Yeah. Maybe just Where one little one? suggestion, Sanyana. Like in some places you can just press a bit stronger your oil pastel and then you'll be getting like different. In some areas you'll be getting more um, light. And somewhere you'll be getting like very intense. Yeah, just like his um this class is super fast. Today we we I'm also surprised how we did so fast. Okay, let's take it Niams. Let's take a look. Hey, also oh she chose she went for the uh, white and black cat. <laughs> Sweet. Oh that's a good also good. Yay, good job, Nyan. It was very nice meeting you. Very happy Thank you. To today. Thank you also today. Yes. Okay. Evie. Yep. Can I do this with uh, this with you? Yes, of course. I'll I'll stop recording now and then we can a bit chat and play. Yeah, because we've finished painting. Okay. So thanks for joining and watching.